AWS uh, Compute. Uh, as Daniel said, uh, we had the ch we had the chance to actually sit down with uh, with Dave Brown and have a great conversation with him. He runs all of EC2 for AWS, uh, and you know, as most analysts do, we also got uh, pre-briefed uh, well in advance of what it was coming down the pike, so we could answer the questions and have some intelligent uh, conversation in forums like this. And I, I wrote an article on Forbes, and um, which which hopefully you can check out. But net net, uh, what Amazon did is they raised the game on compute again. And it's funny I harken back ten years ago where. Uh, there were companies, you know, Andreessen Horowitz saying software is eating the world. And my snarky response was always, well, software has to run on something. And, and the reason why people thought that silicon was getting commoditized uh, was because the industry was allowing it to happen. And now you have companies like AWS and you have Apple who are strategically using silicon uh, and to, to their competitive advantage. So... Uh, AWS made a few announcements. Uh, first of all, they're expanding uh, Graviton 2 uh, workloads with uh, better networking, uh, better storage. It's a good, really good um, evolution uh, on that. Um, also, uh, AWS announced um, its Graviton Ready program, uh, which is uh, uh, enables software partners to offer certified solutions you know those solutions from isvs as opposed to being uh those applications that enterprises are are building itself now the new um uh they also announced graviton 3 which is a brand new soc and while amazon didn't say it, it's using the i believe it's using the new arm neoverse uh v1 and um graviton 2 is positioned at having a 40 percent price performance improvement versus uh, what was available uh, from Intel. Uh, Graviton 3, AWS is promising that it goes even 25% uh, higher compute performance compared to Graviton 2. Uh, and that's just for general compute. You know, they're doubling uh, the size of, of the SIMV unit, which uh, drives machine learning and things like uh, crypto cryptography. And they're adding um, BFLOAT 16, which uh, you might, uh, remember uh, that Intel added that to uh, their latest, the last generation of uh, Xeon scalable uh, processors. Um, and it just doesn't stop there. I mean, 50% increased band, memory bandwidth uh, that helps all applications like databases that are very IO, uh, IO dependent and put a lot of information uh, in memory. Uh, the other thing that uh, the company announced, uh, they get a little bit uh, more um, depth onto on Inferentia. You know, Inferentia just just keeps moving along uh, like a train. Uh, they doubled the networking throughput uh, on it uh, to 800 gigabits uh, per second, um, which is is pretty uh, pretty incredible. So that gets you to petabyte scale petabyte scale uh, type of, of clusters, which I thought was uh, was 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 pretty cool. Um, on the training side, uh, the company brought out uh, uh, Trainium based instances, which was we got a sneak peek of last year. And you know, right now, NVIDIA dominates in in all training. And what AWS is saying is they have the fastest and lowest cost of machine learning training in the cloud providing 40% lower price to train deep learning on the A100, which is the P4D uh, instances. I mean, if, if that isn't huge, I don't know what is. Now, there have been a lot of companies that have made claims uh, that they do stuff better than, than, than NVIDIA when it comes to training, and it didn't necessarily make a dent uh, in the market. Uh, will this? I mean, if it does, it, it's going to be absolutely un... un uh, uh, unprecedented. I think we've seen, you know, a few chinks in the armor with Havana in certain uh, training workloads outperforming Intel. Uh, but if this if this happens, uh, this could be, I think it could be a, a first. Um, the final thing, we just don't have enough time to talk through this stuff, dude, um, is, is uh, AWS introduced custom SSDs. 
uh, where they're modifying the firmware to pretty much go a hell of a lot higher performance uh, than, than, than standard off the shelf uh, SSDs. And they added um, uh, multiple instances to uh, support that. Whew. Great I stuff. No, no, no. No, nah, 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 nah. no that's a, a, lot of, a lot to cover there. And, and obviously, we went from AI to ML now across to the instances. I, I, Pat, you covered it really well. I will just add a little bit of, of sparkle and color here. AWS is doing some strategic things on many fronts very well. They're building in-house silicon that continues to push the boundaries. And again, going back to my comments where I talked about competition, I feel the same way here. It's very democratized. Um, AWS has teams that are focused on working with Intel, focused on working with NVIDIA and AMD, and there's certainly a ton of users on x86, but they've also made some tremendous investments in their ARM team to build out custom capabilities, whether that's Inferentia, Tranium, now Graviton3. Um, they're making it very uh, digestible. Of course, at the 6.5 Summit, we launched the Graviton Challenge. Uh, I hope that we will have a new, another uh, uh, you know, silicon-based launch that we can do together at the next 6.5 Summit that'll be in June. By the way, we have a date for that, but we'll have to wait and hold out. We'll share all that with you a little bit later. Um, but you know, Pat, I, I have to say, we had some really great time with some of their key players in the in, on Dave Brown's team. We talked to, to things. Of course, we can't talk about a lot of the specifics, but what I can walk away from saying is the company is very steadfast on making sure they're meeting the customer where the customer is. Uh, a diverse set of needs, a diverse set of giving flexibility. Of course, like any company that's building something in-house and then selling something that's not built in-house, they're they're pushing the boundaries and creating a product that's as competitive as, as possible, higher performance, uh, lower power. Uh, that's a big part of the Amazon narrative with uh, you know carbon neutrality. Uh, so that's going to be a sub-theme of what's going on here. But Pat, overall, like I said, what a great set of announcements from the uh, EC2 side from Dave Brown. And, and of course, I've got to recommend again, watch our pod, read Pat's article. And of course, I had an article too, talking a little bit about all these announcements. So I promise you, if you read the two and watch that one, you will understand entirely because Dave Brown did a great job breaking it down for us. 